Hello again guys, we're back for another episode of Let's Play Super Meat World. And I'm really mining this one page worth of chapters here, but let's keep at it. We're going back to the hose. I don't know why we ever had to leave the hose. Oh, damn. The hospital. That really put a damper on it. I was going to have a lot of fun with this, but... Well, maybe I still will. Alright, so we've got a pretty bare-bones looking hospital tile set. Oh, hidden, hidden ass bandage over there. Really scaled down those needles pretty, pretty hard to make that shape. Okay, screw the bandage. Just get through this. Keep. Yeah, that's okay. So if you remember in the last episode, I was talking about how some things have collision boxes that don't quite work properly if you place them wrong. This is another one of those instances. There's a squarish box that goes around the needle chunks, and you have to actually manually patch those together in dev mode. So uh, when you aren't being super careful, you can have situations like that where the hitbox will actually go over other tiles that you don't intend to have any sort of collision with. So you get one star for not fixing that. This should be okay. Oh, look at this. Tricky. Um, don't care that much about that, though. So this time we're gonna go around it and then up, it looks like. Yep. Oh, damn. And if anyone ever is wondering, I use a wired Xbox 360 controller to control, and I usually play with the D-pad, but sometimes I play with the analog stick. Depends on what exactly I'm trying to do. Sometimes I'm more precise with one than the other. For the moment, I'm actually using the analog stick. Oh, okay, so we've got more rogue hitboxes, it looks like. And then that fan, of course, is going to be a pain in my ass. Such a tiny fan. There's so much trouble. Alright, there we go. Somebody really went to town with those needles. Uh, you can have two on that one. Tight space navigation, that can be annoying sometimes. Certainly doesn't give you freedom of movement, that's for sure. And when there's no actual impediments in here, it's just navigating, that's a little bit on the annoying side. So why is there... oh, because of the bandage, probably. So this time I'm being forced to jump out a tile and up without touching the floor or that slightly raised edge. Uh, that's going to be really annoying to keep doing, and I'm not going to bother you guys by doing that. So, yeah, that one's called Tedious. Good name. And this one's called Patience. Not sure why yet, but maybe that will become readily apparent to me. We'll see. Maybe because it's extremely long. Is that what it's going to be? Okay, now we're switching back to the D-pad. We're doing controlled small jumps across gaps, presumably for a long time. And maybe patience is don't rush across this because it's not going to help anybody. Especially the viewers who probably don't want to see me do this 20 times, damn. I wish I could have, like, a running kill count always going on my Meat Boy, like, without having to edit that in. This actually seems like something I would have done in one of my levels. <laughs> so, uh, credit where credit's due, uh, that... It's pretty frustrating, but at the same time, it's, like, my style. <laughs> I acknowledge that I make sometimes pretty annoying levels. And I'm okay with that, it's just part of who I am. I 
I'm gonna give this like three more tries maybe. And if I don't make more progress, then we're gonna move on. Alright. Oh, god damn. That's not gonna happen right now, I'm sorry. My patience, it, it can last a while sometimes, but I don't feel like doing that on camera here. Temple entrance, this seems promising. Forest tile set. Let's see it. Five levels. Tem temple entrance, one of two. Excuse me. So we've got a two level, or two pack chapter. So instead of making ten levels in one chapter, we're doing two chapters, presumably of five. Is this a content delivery scheme? Uh, one star. This guy's at least got some idea how to structure stuff, but the tiles are really obviously porous. Which means they're not ready for consumption by public domains. What's going on? Can I just go all the way up? Of course, there's a bandage up there. Why wouldn't there be? Let's just go over the top and drop on that saw. That sounds like a plan. How about we don't even bother going to the left? If we can, just... No? Okay, we can't do that. Actually, yeah, but sure we can. What the hell am I talking about? Just do that. No! Make it even easier, too. Just, uh, pop that one and then immediately die. Unfortunately, there's, like, no background, one tile, use of pre-made rotating saws. Kind of a sad showing. Oh, we've got options. I want to go this way first. Oftentimes it looks like we have- oh no, we actually do have options, except that, that one's just for the bin. Screw that level. There's this, we've got wood. Okay, so we've actually got some jumping to do here. Some thought was considered with this pathfinding. Uh, this is gonna be... what is this gonna be? An edge up? No. Like that. Well, that's one way to solve it. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to deal with that moving one over there, but I'm not going to. Alright, so this, this guy's made some moves. He's got some progress on his level-making skill. We're actually doing some, uh, some rotating stuff. I'll give that one a three, because that was actually engaging for a few minutes. Or a moment, I should say. And up we go. To where? We'll never know. Probably to the end of the level. Whoa, I thought that was a wall I could hit into. But it wasn't. been probably reading the Meat Boy forums and saw how we said to put saw blades over top of other saw blades to make them look more interesting. And we've got some sort of support structure beams now, although we still have a repetitive grass tile that's going, so I wish that would change, but what can you do? Oh, shit. Now I'm in trouble. I almost jumped my way through that problem, but I didn't. The big one was moving just a little bit too quick for me. Oh, right. I forgot to look before I jumped. It's no problem, I got this level. Alright. Here. Dodge that. I gotta go across, and the end. Okay. I was expecting more. So that was Temple Entrance. Let's do... Is Temple Entrance 2 available here somewhere? I don't see it. Stonely Happy. I'm sorry, I have to see what this is. How did that happen? There's... Level 3 is just missing? And four and five are blocked off? What the hell's going on? This is insane. 
Whoa. We've got effects, we've got a screwed up porta potty with someone presumably floundering in some shit. Particles and support beams and background. Oh, this is a luscious looking level. Glad you put my name on it. I appreciate that. You get a five for having good taste. It's down here. Oh, nothing. There's something moving though, I want to check out. Oh, there's rocks moving. Oh, made bandage girl jump. Good call. Sorry if I'm a little biased. I want to see what's on the other side of that. Why can't I see it? That makes me sad. Let's check out a kid chapter real quick. Super Eye Guy. I'm going to play just a few levels of this because I'm sure it will probably be very hard. Anyone who has the taste to want to use the kid usually wants to make hard levels. At least that's been my experience in the past. Where are we going here? Oh. I don't quite get what the deal is. I could have just gone around. I don't know why I had to go the long way. You can get one star for that. I bet I can squeeze between those two saws, but I don't know why I need to. That would speed it up just a little bit. Blind jump. There's a wall. Where are we going? These levels are way too big. You can't see anything. They need to be zoomed out or tightened up. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. That was kind of a crappy level, honestly. Whoa, I'm head crab for some reason. I kind of always forget how headcrab works. I think you hold run and he sticks to walls or something. This is not very fun. It's like a race time trial level. Time trial levels would have been cool if there was a system in place to actually be able to record the scores. Sadly, there are still so many things that we wish would have come to pass with Super Meat World that simply will not. Could have been the ultimate platformer platform for years to come, but as it stands, it will be merely above average. Authors, note, please do not make levels like this, they are pointless. Oh, really? gonna hit me with a rocket after I go through all of that. Nobody wants to play your level that bad that they won't just quit. Alright, we're back to the kid again. Through some sort of pointless passageways there that gets... No oh, another maze. See, the thing about mazes is usually they have more than one way to go or in a game that's not really about setting up mazes, it's more about like dexterity, agility, pathfinding, navigation. This doesn't come across as fun. So let's put some damn rockets in it, that'll make it better. You get one. Oh, we can play as Joseph on this one. I still have no idea what to do with Joseph. I don't even begin to know how he works. It's kind of clunky to move around with, honestly. And don't tell me you expect me to jump through that, because I'm not going to be able to. Maybe that's a shortcut for people who are masters with him. I thought that was going to take me a lot of tries, thankfully it didn't. Oh, okay. Don't care. Long, tall passageways, cool. And down we go, or there will probably be a saw. Nope. 
No, oh, okay. Alright, so these levels seem to be more about just making you go through a long navigation path, like, that's preset for you. I don't see why that would be fun. Cool. Jump, 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 Almost there. Hooray! That wasn't hard. Uh-oh, Captain Viridian. Oh. Of course this is how this is gonna go. And I'm certain that this will be the longest possible way to get through. Beep, boop, beep, boop. No, just flip, just flip. And down, and over, and up. I really hope I don't have to explain why people shouldn't make levels like this anymore. It managed to be even longer than what I thought. No stars for you. Oh, deadly rock. Why did I not? Oh, god damn it. I jumped twice and then jumped again as if I was gonna touch something. There we go. Oh boy, that was tough stuff. Oh, okay. Man, this thing just keeps on going, huh? Oh. What a puzzle. Steve? Really? Steve joke levels are not funny still. You missed the train on that one. Or is it a boat? I think it's a boat. You missed the boat. Alright, now we've just given up. Alright, that was Super Eye Guy, and I recommend that you probably don't want to play this uh, chapter at all. And that'll do it for this awesome, awesome episode of Let's Play Super Meat World. As always, leave me comments, tell me about what levels you'd like me to play. Any requests, I will do them in a video as soon as possible, and just tell me what you think of the series, and of the channel, and of your day, and of my day. Tell me anything you want, honestly. Really don't care, I just want to talk to somebody out there. I'm so lonely. Okay, I'll leave you for now. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you all later.